Okay, the next step is to create a half inch grid over your animal. And if you remember, it is six inches by four inches. And this matters because eventually you're gonna make a grid on a large sheet of paper and we're we're trying to enlarge our animal so it doesn't get squished or stretched. And so the six inches by four inches at a, every half inch is what we are gonna do. So I have my ruler here and we don't use rulers very often. So I just wanna point out where every half inch is. In between the numbers, so here's one and two, right in the middle where my pencil is pointing, that longer line is a half inch. It is halfway in between one and two. There's a half inch mark in between every number. So you're gonna make a mark at the half inch and where the number is. Half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, till you get to six. So when I like to do this, remember I like to make marks up top, marks on the bottom. I'm gonna line up my ruler right on the edge of this line. I'm gonna make sure my ruler is straight. Okay, and then every half inch. So half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half. Again, you wanna be very precise I'm gonna just slide my ruler down, line it up again on this edge, make sure it's straight, every half inch. Half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half. Once I have those marks, I'm gonna use them to line up my ruler. So I'm making sure my rule's touching the mark on the top and the mark on the bottom. Making sure my ruler's straight. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw a light line. And I'm gonna do that all the way across. These are my grid marks, my grid lines. And I'm gonna use these to help me draw my lion. All right, I'm gonna leave my lion in this direction because now I have to make those marks along this other edge. So again, line up your ruler. Sometimes I like to use that top line. Every half inch, half, one, one and a half, two, oh, Shift it back there. Two and a half, three, three and a half. Slide my ruler down. Half. 
half one oh. one and a half two two and a half three three and a half I'm gonna flip him and I'm gonna do the same thing just line up those marks Draw those grid marks across. Last one. Then you are done with your small grid, except last thing, we're just going to label the boxes. So I'm going to do numbers across the top. You should have 12 boxes. If you have more than that, your grid is too big. If you have less than that, your grid is too small. And then along the side, I'm going to do letters. all the way to H. Now if you have an image that's more vertical, you can still do numbers and letters. Doesn't really matter as long as that you copy it onto your large grid. 